Hey everybody, it's Angela and long time no see. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know why I've been gone so long. And it is kind of a long story, so I will try my best to be brief or make it more brief, but I wanted to let you guys know why. And what happened was at the end of August, last August, my Gmail account was hacked. And as you guys know, I go to the farm three or four days a week. So I'm out of cell and internet range while I'm there. So I come back into range as I'm going back home to the city. And, you know, all these things started popping up and I find out that, you know, my Gmail has been hacked and my crafting channel has been stolen. So I, of course, went through the Gmail retrieval process right away and I was able to get my Gmail back. And when that happened, my farm channel, farm YouTube channel, relinked to my Gmail amount, account and came back with that. However, they had stolen or hijacked my crafting channel and they had renamed it and changed the password and it wouldn't relink to my name for me to get it back. So I had to work with the YouTube partner program and they were really good, I have to admit. Um, I talked to them, we figured out, because my crafting channel has been around for almost a decade now and it was done or created back before YouTube and Google merged. So there was some uh, complicated layers there. And uh, so it took until about September, mid-September to get my YouTube channel back. And so they worked really hard. It was so awesome. I got my channel back and I got it back like in an evening toward the end of the day. And I looked at it and I saw that the hijackers had put several, three or four videos on the channel that had been already been uh, disabled by YouTube. And I didn't know what they were. They didn't have titles that made any sense. Uh, it had been hijacked by someone in another country, so I don't know if it was in a different language or if it was just a garbage title or, or whatever. But so hopefully it wasn't anything horrible. I hope that none of my subscribers saw anything negative on my channel. But YouTube had already disabled them and it was for copyright strikes. And because there were three or four videos that all got these copyright strikes and were disabled at the same time, uh, the next day after I got it back, YouTube terminated it due to copyright infringement. So I went back to the YouTube partner. They referred me to the copyright division because they, you know, with all the legalities that go with that, it's a lot more red tape. So I was able to fill out an appeal for each of my channels because they not only shut down my crafting channel, they shut down my farm channel and anything that was attached to my Gmail was blacklisted. I could not log on to YouTube. Um, as soon as it saw my Gmail address, it just shut me down and said, you're not allowed. So I couldn't leave comments to on any of the people that I subscribe to. I didn't have a list of the people I subscribe to. I didn't have a list of my subscribers that subscribe to me. I couldn't let you guys know. Um, some of you knew because I left a little message on Mercy Tierra's Facebook page. Um, and some of you contacted me privately and thank you everyone who contacted me with your concern and I really appreciate it. And um, so I was completely shut down. I couldn't even, on my phone, wouldn't even work properly. Um, I had to, anytime I wanted to go on to YouTube, I had to go incognito. But anyhow, so the problems I had were with the copyright division. Every time I tried to check on the appeal, they just said, no, you've been terminated due to these copyright strikes. And I would get a form letter. I never actually got a person. I tried reapplying. I tried contacting. I pretty much try to contact someone every day if or at least a couple times a week I my husband said if you don't fight for this it's not gonna happen so he goes you've got to fight you got to stick in there and you got to work at it so I'm like okay so I worked really hard I 
did all kinds of internet searches for how to deal with this and long story short I was able through the YouTube help forum find someone who would help me an actual person who thank you so much if you're watching this you are an angel um, they helped me go through all the layers of complexity get all of these screenshots all of the information to properly submit it um, that you know that these videos had been put on my channel while it was not in my control by some hijackers and that you know I make my own content I don't usually repost anybody I never reposted anybody else's content and if I use music um, on a video I use copyright free and I make sure to um, give those credits in the description to who that music belonged to but I make sure to always play by the rules so it was really hard I felt like a criminal every time I tried to log on you know I felt like the bad guy it's like oh no you're you're bad you can't come on here so it was really hard and then I wasn't able to be a part of the YouTube community during all the holiday seasons went by and um, it was just really depressing and discouraging and um, I don't take for granted the YouTube platform anymore I mean and the and the crafting community that's here on YouTube I so appreciate you guys and you know it it's a big part of my life and doing videos and talking to you and chatting and watching other people's videos and um, being part of you know contests and and things like that it's just a lot of fun so um, it was hard to have that part of my life gone and I do appreciate the fact that we get to do this through you know a, a free platform so I don't take YouTube for granted and uh, I did get a different phone and I've changed all my security I've done everything I can to put all kinds of layers of protection so hopefully this is not gonna happen again so I, I did learn and everything um, so in order to turn you know lemons into lemonade I took this kind of that kind of off time that I wasn't feeling real creative obviously so I went ahead and enrolled in a class at my local community college and I found an instructor there that I've taken classes from off and on since like 2001 so it was great to be able to see my instructor again and take some classes and still continue to do art while I worked through this whole YouTube issue so um, I thought I'd go ahead and, and share those I just have two of them here and this one's a colored pencil drawing and here it is kind of big so it's hard to get it all in frame but this is a photograph I took of a cattle drive here in Oregon and I just wanted to um, you know do a large landscape I do a lot of smaller items and still lifes but uh, yeah I just wanted to do a large landscape and so I went ahead and drew that in my local community college drawing class and then the second one I did here over the the holidays and it is a graphite drawing and it's a portrait that I did for a friend of mine and it's a vintage photo of her father and there, there we go and her um, two aunts so this is a vintage photograph and I really love doing you know three portraits in one drawing and I love the old you know the vintage quality the haystack with the little wagon and you know his straw hat it kinda has that Tom Sawyer look about it so it was really fun to be able to do these drawings I hope you could see them okay and um, yeah so otherwise I'm back I'm gonna pick up where I left off and I had gone to start a new Gmail account and channel and then they told me that um, because I thought it was only my old Gmail that was like blacklisted but they said no it's you personally you're not allowed to have any other content on YouTube or you know so I had to stop on that um, so I had a video there, a couple videos there I was going to put, so I'm going to probably bring those over and, and put them on here and um, do that. Otherwise, um, 
yeah otherwise we made it through the end of the farming season um there was good there was bad uh it was a really hot summer and we had our first real crop failure um, sometimes we have crops that we don't get a very high yield from because of weather but this time we had a crop where we had to just till it under and it, oh it was hard it was hard all that you know the cost of the seed, the cost of planting it, the cost of having, you know, moving all the irrigation pipes and watering it and weeding it, you know, with the cultivator and all the time and effort and money that we put into it. And, you know, we had to till it under, so it was ouch. Um, so that was the first time. So we are in a kind of a strange flux, you know, in the world places, some places are getting hotter and some are getting colder. And so we're looking into some crops that can handle a little bit hotter weather. We're doing some trials this year and um, putting some more time into our soil health and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, our garlic did really good. Our potatoes did good. And um, yeah, so we had other things that did well. And so, you know, live and learn and so we're continuing with that and otherwise um, I haven't been purchasing a lot just some stuff at uh, Tuesday morning here and there and I did one small purchase with um, uh, Cheeky Studio with uh, Tuesday and uh, that's about all I've done but luckily you guys I've noticed the trend of the use it and lose it, empty box, um, scrap your stash and all that so I am going to totally jump on that bandwagon and just scrap for my stash you know my budget um, just isn't there for buying a lot of new stuff this year so I'm going to really concentrate as you can see I've got tons of crap in this craft room that I can use to scrapbook for a long long time so um, yeah so that's not a problem so I think I'm gonna have fun kind of going through this finding old treasures and um, really putting those products into my scrapbooks where I can enjoy them for many many years to come and not leaving them languish in their original packaging where you know they might get donated to the local thrift store at some point or I don't know what but you know I just don't want that to happen I want to hoard my products in their scrapbook albums and not in their um, commercial packaging. So I am totally going to do that. I might do a little bit more drawing now that I've been going back to that drawing class. I might do a few more drawing videos. Um, you know, I could either do them real time or I could speed them up. Um, I'll probably do a sped up with a voiceover uh, just for noise issues. But you know, if you guys would really rather have a uh, real time drawing types of videos let me know below because I could totally work that into my schedule too and um, otherwise yeah I'm looking forward to making new videos getting back in the swing I'll forewarn you right now because I haven't been doing much it's gonna take me a little bit to get back into it it's like anytime you lost your mojo or you've been away for a while it takes a little bit to, to get back into the swing of things so some of my um, next videos might be a little more painful than than others but um, hopefully you'll hang in there and um, yeah I'm so glad to be back I lost quite a few subscribers while I was gone so hopefully those bad videos that the hijackers put on there didn't like make people unsubscribe hopefully oh I hope that wasn't something horrible that no one should see but um, yeah so totally give me a like me, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.